wonderful. Blessings. Welcome forward to Reasons Right at the Chair Live. I'm your host, Talakul the Great, out in the presence of my co-host, Brother Ramon Singh. Perfect love. Perfect love. Yes, brother. So, you know, we are partners in this journey, you know, of righteousness. You know, we are partners in crime. You know, people love to say that style. We are partners in this righteous work where we are doing us. Hallelujah. We have to give thanks equal measure. The most I want to give thanks to those who are supporting the merchandise at Teespring. I guess I was saying an S on it, but it's teespring.com. And you can, you know, slash see the media, you can check out the merch um, to, to support. <laughs> I'm surprised. <this. laughs> um, the movements right here on Sila Media, in that you notice that we've been revamping the image of Sila Media by changing um, the logo. And many of us, you know, why is that so? But there is an internal reason as we kind of, uh, you know, espoused to a light degree before, we truly want to come in alignment with how it is spelled within the Bible. And, you know, Sila Media was previously a media company that did um, a certain type of cultural events. And obviously we changed to spiritual in terms of Yeshua, Mashiach, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yod, Hei, Bab, e. You know what that means? You know, say religious and spiritual, not spiritual and metaphysical. You get what I'm saying? So now because we are religious and hallelujah, spiritual, we want to come in line with Sila Mina. It's a rebranding and it more I mean, sings. There's something. Doesn't it more feel in line? We've got to go to a topic. Just relax. Isn't that more in line with where we are for you? Because, you know, it was your idea knowing the business side as well. Yeah, man. It feel right now, you know? Mm. Or the right thing. So that is one of the, the, the current, you know, changes. And um, as we go forward, again, we're going to keep presenting proper content. Now, when we speak about the economic section of it, we learn that spirituality as well as materiality balances out in this reality because we're not all in the pureness of the spiritual world. That meaning that things do come at a cost and that there's a functionality. Every business has a responsibility to take care of its overhead and its real cost and needs, right? It doesn't matter what context we're in. So we're not trying to abuse the context in which we are. We are saying that definitively we need to be dynamic and we are being dynamic. Please support the Wizio.com mini healing therapy sessions to support yours truly, the great out, as well as you know, support the retreats that we um, basically carry on each and every quarter and cycle right here in Jamaica, where you can be closer within an organic or tatinous way of having faith and learning old skills, skills that's been lost. A lot of farming skills by Brother Singh has been coming through, and um, those uh, videos on this channel will help to return some of the gnosis of that. As well as, you know, support the music, you know, because, you know, type in the great or whatever platform, brother, sing and I myself and myself also have music that is coming out and more videos for the channels as well too, right? Because there's dimensions to it. All of that tantamounts to us having a more solid foundation. We need the presence of wealth generation and the presence of holiness because if we are deficient, our avenues, angles and our pronouncements become weak and not based upon the message based upon the vessels who carry the message. At the same time, we're giving thanks to the Most High God. So, we started a series exposing some of the, the things under the Ministry of Warfare and exposing some of the things that, to some degree, we had spoken about before, but now we're going to a deeper degree of, of looking at it. And there's always dimensions to it because it's spiritual and we never ever have the full gnosis or the full knowledge on anything. So, rather thing right now, we're going to look at the, the bearers of the signet. And I call them that because they are the bearers of the signet. So what is a signet? The signet is a sign of power. You can look up the word, S-I-G-N-E-T, right? Signet, you can look up what a signet is, right? And so these signets, right, are um, represented in manifest form as witches and warlocks. So we're talking about orders now. And so when you talk about witches and warlocks, but saying, the first thing they talk about, think of a person like, oh, that's a witch, that's a warlock, but Beyond witches and warlock being the manifest person is the order. So what I'm saying, what is the witches and warlock got to do what's happening with us as the kingdom of light and righteousness? Yes, brother, agree at all. Because first of all, I have to give my little testimony, you know. What happened in my life, in my past, in the past, you know. I used to study these witchcraft books and start practice the witchcraft you know got even hundreds of books would they have like but pdf you know mm -hmm. 
computer downloaded from some dark websites, you know? Oh. Get some esoteric books, witchcraft books, Wiccan books, all type of books, you know? I'm going to read them, a couple of them well, you know? Certain ones draw to me, I'm going to read them. I'm going to start practice certain things, try them out, start making it be my daily life, you know? Start doing witchcraft activities, you know, have a candle on my altar, mm -hmm. chant certain things, because you, you have the white magic, you have the black magic, and mostly white magic with their study, you know, because I still did a pray. Because I like things like blessings, prosperity. So you have spells, you know, for prosper prosperity. Blessings for um, spells for blessings, mm -hmm. you know, spells for do many things, many, you know, as the mind, as the mind can think, I can you can that. build a spell for it. I may have practice things, you know, even a couple dark things we practice too. Can we get caught up with the Palladians mm -hmm. and the Palladians? There are supposed aliens mm -hmm. from the Pleiades constellation. You see me? I must take them in hard. I must so deep in night, them start giving us instructions what to do to become a better human. You know, like they must say, humans are lacking. All they need to do is do this, do that, do that. Mm -hmm. You know? And when you check it out, a witchcraft, they must teach you. <laughs> You know, I may have practiced the witchcraft daily, do many abominations, I mess with blood. You see me? You have certain spells where you have to get the girl blood. So the girl, them do them blood. Me they have a friend, take her blood and you plant it under one plant. You see me? You put it under a plant and plant a plant on top of it and put a spell on it, you see me? Holy mm -hmm. Weird, dark things. Pleiadians are teach me, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, that thing says a magic book me are talking about, mm -hmm. you know? But there are some book. aliens, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. But we find out that these are all demons and fallen angels, you see me? One big deception. The liars and impersonators. <laughs> yes, I... So, we have, we have to make them know, say, well, me used to be a warlock, you know? Me never reached to certain levels because God take me out of it, mm -hmm. you know? Him save me because what me there really suit, uh, search for is truth. Mm -hmm. A truth me I search for, you know? But on the way to truth, me I find all of these sorcery because me I seek if this true. I me confirm say it too. <laughs> you see me? Yes, yes, yes. So I say real. And not just some fantasy thing. Man on earth, I do sorcery, some evil things. And it's real. Because enough people say, oh, if I don't believe it, it doesn't, it does, it doesn't affect me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, voodoo. No, no, I don't believe in that foolishness. No, no. If I don't believe in it, it has no power, you know? But it's for a certain level mm -hmm. that really, you know, because you don't have no fear to it. Because we talk, fear it feeds upon. We were talk about that, that we mentioned in the previous one, that is um, we are counter um, navigating the spiritual realm, we are short circuiting the spells. Yeah? So it's a power the most that you're using to short circuit the spell. So that is a power in of itself, which is a magical quality, they call it, but you know, we call it a mystical quality because. Sometimes it's mysterious to where it comes from. Can't think about it. Yeah, brother, great. Uh, because you have many different type of people who practice sorcery, witchcraft, you know, seers. All of these people are abomination in the sight of the Mosai. Hey. Mosai not like that. Mm -hmm. You see me? With the Mosai, we have so many better things mm 
than these dark things what them offer. Mm -hmm. The most I give us dreams, visions. Mm He -hmm. give us the tongue. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. To speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. To prophesy. Yes. You know, to help others. Deliver them. Mm -hmm. You know? To perform many miracles. Because sometimes the mind has the limit, you know, to the miracles what can be performed. True that. It's done unto us as we believe. Yes, I. So, when, when we are dealing with God, the Most High, the Father of all creation, of all things, the great I Am, the everlasting to everlasting, when we are dealing with Him, a good father. He bless us with many more abilities than what Satan can give other people. Yes. So as we look at the, the others of the witches and the warlock, there are requirements and there are hierarchies. So there are bloodline ritual requirements as well as just um, devotee initiate ritual requirements right so you have a person that will come in and they are just somebody interested in working a spell for maybe minor wealth or self-aggrandizement but you have bloodline workings which are under signet under symbol under seal under authority where the sword and the baton has been passed from one ancestor unto another for the past three thousand years right and so you have special groups amongst um, different um, ethnicities within terra firma that have had these um, signet rights for thousands of years and so these bloodlines and their authoritative power has come down as like in feudal systems of lordship right or the the, the, the the marquis the dukes the duchesses right there is a system of eloquence that surrounds um, perceived eloquence that surrounds their their high position you know they're highly stratified but the stratification, looking back at the signet, looking back at their crest, you know, it shows in symbolic language the authority under which they are, under which seal of the red dragon, under which seal of the red or the white rose, under which seal of Lancaster, Lancaster or you are, under which seal the magic is being performed, under which family blood right is the magic being performed. So the mages amaze us by being in the houses of the temples of new economics, and the temples of new economics are transposed as state houses as well as these economic um, forums and these economic groupings organizations and societies which are really the meeting of the coven the meeting of the the, the warlocks and the witches the high priests and priestesses which determine the future and the destiny within the society that is run by sorcery and magic you now hence what i'm going to refer to all of the sciences witchcraft as what they are termed in our time which is magic now magic governs the law of all functionality. All high priests within these societies are witches and warlocks, which are to say they have different positions of power, which stratifies them to either be foot soldiers, generals, or higher ups where they are commanders, right? Of entire legions, fleets, regions, and all regions are led by a terrestrial and a celestial fallen spirit. So the terrestrial spirit is usually an ancient Nephilim, which is under the authority of a celestial spirit, one of the fallen angels, right? And so all the orders carry that. So therefore there's always one that thinks himself big, but there's always a higher warlock that carries a higher signet, right? And so the light and the shadow of the day and the night are symbolic languages which which the warlock used to give account of their economic power. So we might know them through, let's just say, masonry as the ones that basically are the king's accountants, right? We might know some through the temple of Ashtar as being those who are like really perverse, pedophiles and such, which use sex magic, which is called Telema, right? Which is another branch of witchery and warlock. Now this is information in the public domain. So this is not something that is also secretive. But what it is is that without authority most people will not engage it. They're usually being under the engagement of these powers and these spells. Now you being um, a journey while like, converted and saved from the kingdom shows a lot of knowledge to the kingdom of light. I myself I traveled through the darkness I ended up in hell wearing I'd met Lucifer and I'd met a lot of those entities, you know. And when I came back through that portal I realized a lot of what we call the financial system, the earth system is designed within that space. That's where it comes from, right? That's where they sat and inculcated the thoughts, right? And these spirits which transpose themselves as the ideas we hold in our minds. It's usually 
we can call them lost, we can call them shame, we can call them the batch, we can call them whatever they are, but these things empower us. Meaning, when you do them and those who have done them, you know what we mean. You get a rush, hallelujah, a heightened rush of energy when you have done these aberrant acts. And these acts are what the witches and the warlocks do. And again, based upon their authority, some of them have higher level power. So it would never be wise to engage them because sometimes you might hear people say, I'm calling out this person, I'm calling out that person. I wouldn't advise that because you don't have the authority. Hallelujah. To call the person out, you have the authority under Christ to defend yourself and you alone is not going to defend yourself. It's the army of Christ, it's the holy angels with the firing swords are going to defend yourself against the fallen seraphims, right? So the fire serpent on the most I will go against those who have come against you. But don't just think you have a right to just say just because you feel to say. The next thing is this. Because you're under authority and order, sometimes the reason why you are being attacked is that your family also bears the torch, right? Or bears the sword of the Most High God. It has been passed. You carry the helmet, you carry the breastplate, you carry something. Hallelujah of the Most High. But guess what? You're dishonorable, meaning you're not as honorable as your great grandfather or your great grandmother was, or, or possibly will be, because you are taking on to a different belief or culture or attitude. But by nature, the light has reincarnated itself in you, meaning. You are the one, the vessel chosen to carry forward the principle of truth, but you don't want to break the generational curses. You rather be caught up in the generational curses. Because again, sometimes we become depressed because the spirit has broken the bonds over, the, over our confidence. Because again, remember, they're attacking you for a reason. They're under order and they're under authority. So because of the authority, they cannot succeed in their power, meaning the laws are bringing to clarity, 100%. Okay, let's just say in this community, right? They want to bring a certain amount of young ladies to darkness. I'm using the young ladies. They want to make sure that 22% of um, all young ladies under 18 become prostitutes or carry a spirit that they will put in them, a spirit of Asheret and so forth, right? And so they have a particular individual which is anointed by their sacrifices, right, and their rituals to be the one to gather these 22 percent of young women so they'll form an organization it might be a modeling club it might be a school of discipline it might be a debutante um, ball system or whatever it might be something linked to education or some kind of club or institution that's supposed to um, groom young ladies and there is a charter system or whatever under it but literally there is an individual there and that individual is a warlock and their job is to basically subjugate all those 22 percent of young ladies maybe that might be 800 young ladies over the next year or two under their spells and their curses, right? So what's the point? The point is, is there's another individual who is here, born in this community, probably goes to church once or twice, might have been a Rastaman, might have grew up in some spiritual community, takes it for granted, but previously in their lives they might have had a problem with somebody who represents, uh, let's just say, some dark forces. Let's be very clear. They had an altercation with some dangerous individuals and all they did was say, and I'm going to be very clear, I'm going to use patois, I'm going to use English. You see all you? All I want to do against you, right? You know? Well, I'm not wicked, you know? And I try to come conquer with because I feel like someone can conquer with me. Well, I'm not fall, you know? Well, I'm not dead, you know? You know, I crash off and mash up, you know? Remember, I'm telling you, you know? All of you are, are aggressing against us without reason. This is an unlawful, unnatural, unrighteous act against us. And you're going to pay for it. You're going to suffer the ultimate price because we have done you no harm. Yeah, we are no threats to you in no way, shape, or form, right? And guess what happened? They die. They, they die. Hallelujah. They die. They get destroyed. The organization fall apart. That individual has spoken a word that has come to pass. Though they might not be under the authority of any church, they might not be the most blessed or chosen of a church community body or organization to be a prophet, a seer, or a healer. They yeah, are one that delivers the word of God. They are called by the true and living God to do his work. But they might not know that because it was generational. Yeah, it has been in the bloodline. Their family has always been servants of God. Maybe one generation ago, a family member made a bad choice. Switched sides and went to the side of the devil and has brought darkness over the family. So their security is there, their wealth and their finances might not be as strong. So they could not grow up perfectly in the right morals. So there was a little unbalance, but there is one child, this one soul, male or female, which has the word of God in their spirit. They have the sword of God in their word, and judgment will come out of their tongue when they are speaking in defense of the innocent. And so those people with those 22% desire to turn 800 women in the next two years into whores and prostitutes so they can carry spirits of darkness and lust and whoredom to advance their claim has to contend with that soul. That's their enemy. 
and that person might just be a regular person working a regular job. Sometimes they're actually working for the warlocks as their bosses in the business and they do not know that. Literally, that's all the energy, right? That's all the energy appropriate and amalgamates itself. Sometimes you're literally working for the one that's cursing the community. You're there. Maybe, maybe you do not know that they are the owner for that company. So you not, might, might not be working, but something you're working at the actual company, thinking you're recruiting girls to, to further their dreams to be models, and literally what you're doing is recruiting them for the devil's kingdom, right? Until you become aware, and you are the ones that they're fighting, because your soul being there is saving those young ladies. You are the one that's protecting them, but you don't know. And all the attacks are coming at you. You don't know why the boss don't like you. You don't know why like, everyone that the boss likes don't like you. You do not know why you do not have no favor. Because the soul of the most high God is with you. Just like how they are generational warlocks and witches. That's why they hate you. Because you are their enemy. You are the one whose word through God's power counteracts their activity. Brother Singh. Yes, brother. I agree with all. And these evil spirits now, you know, they will read the stars. Read up your, your, your destiny. You know, read up your purpose. Mm -hmm. Cause many a times then we see a bright star, you know, and them go up there now. Them literally go up there you know, mm -hmm. and go read it and say, okay, in in four hundred years, this person will be born mm -hmm. and become Hallelujah. a great person for God, a great man of God, and he will convert many people. Great woman of God. You know, and save people's souls for heaven, for eternity. Mm -hmm. So, them know this knowledge, you know. Truly. So, what them do know is plan for it. 400 years, them are plan for this star, your star. Sometime, when the baby small, the baby I get dreams. They might visit them in the dream. Mm -hmm. Sometimes physically. Mm -hmm. Come rock them, come in the cradle and rock them. I watch them from a long time, you know, 400 years. They were planned for them. You know. So when they born them, they're there every day. Mm -hmm. As shine. soon as a gate open, sometimes the father can open the gate you know, or the mother mm -hmm. or the child. Because mm -hmm. the father will. If the father says something foolish mm -hmm. and say, oh, this child that I have, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha. The demon says, yes. Mm -hmm. Get an entry. Mm -hmm. Just by the father said that foolish statement, you know. Disowning the right of the child, the sovereignty of the child in spirit. Yes, I. Because the father fear said this child would be a child of God. You know, man of God, great man of God. Prophesy over your child life. Mm -hmm. You go prophesy foolishness. Mm -hmm. Basically, a confusion over the picnic life. You know, you don't know what you're going to do with them. You know, doubt and confusion, unknowings. Mm -hmm. So them say, all right, gateway open. The demon coming out of the child life now, physically. Spiritually, mm -hmm. you know, start do things, give them dreams and bring them to the marine kingdom. Mm -hmm. Crown them and say, You are king, you are queen, you are a great sorcerer, great witch. Are you a reincarnation of? Yeah, man, because I say, You see this kingdom here? You rule all of this. So I saw them bribe them with the power, you know. Mm -hmm. I still them in control, you know. Mm -hmm. But them, it's like them a backseat driver, you know. Mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> and I said, yeah, the queen, you know. Remember the queen for do this, you know. Mm -hmm. And do that, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when people go to the river, sometimes people get drawn to the river. Mm -hmm. So need to go to the river every day and just sit down and what? Right. An evil spirit that draw you. Write your plans for this time. A mermaid. Mm -hmm. A draw you. If you come recruit you. Mm -hmm. So some witches and warlocks, you know. Mm -hmm. 
are recruited directly by evil spirits, demons, fallen angels. Recruit them directly. And they are meant for the kingdom of God. But through them power so great, it's like them just flip this, the power. Mm. And the same great power in the darkness. Yeah, that should have been in the light. Yeah. So a great power this, you know, but a darkness. Mm -hmm. Great black flame, mm -hmm. you know. It should be a great white light and white fire. Mm -hmm. Light. But it turned into a great black flame. was spread and infect and give virus. Mm -hmm. They say, yes. And them start sending them on mission, even astral projections. Mm -hmm. Send them out. To haunt other people's dreams as well too, yeah, right? Even Christians. Mm -hmm. Right, Because okay. them go to attack Christians, you know, mostly. Because they must say, you are king. We are sending you to go attack this one. And you will get rank up mm -hmm. when you're successful. Secure your province, right? Yeah, man. It's, a, it's an unique system of evil, wherein there's another side that I alluded to while you were, you were explaining what I was saying. That also, they tell a lot of these bright lights as, are, as returning souls, some of them, of their previous incarnations, some of them, or of incarnations they did not even have. But some of it is that they have returned the memory of previous incarnations where the soul was once a great king. That's why the soul is needed again at a point to lead the nation, lead the people of God in a particular way because this soul already knows the power of leadership and authority. And so when this soul is being re-entered on the plane, it has been a plot, you know, to kind of draw the soul back into the past. And the reason why I can relate to it because all the stories I have not experienced, I cannot relate to, but I can relate to that being my experience that I was one of those souls, right, who one of the things that the enemy tried to use with me a lot is to take me back to past lives because in past lives I had a lot more power and authority in some of the incarnations that that knowledge is still with me and if I use, hallelujah, that knowledge, believe me, most of you won't like me, right, because I'm an authoritarian, right, and I'm an absolutist, right, and I do crusades and campaigns and it lasts as long as there's breath, hallelujah inside of me. So that's why I don't play around with certain parts of my consciousness. But meaning, if I was a leader of a nation, my temperament would not be as restrained as if I am a servant in the temple, as if I'm a teacher in the sacred school. So I chose the path of the sacred school, of the scribe, because I realized that in my previous incarnation, that was one of the, the vitriols in my soul, was that power and what it had done to me, and how it had made me expand idea of territory, which, if you notice, is something that the enemy likes to do. So souls like me, just think about it for a second, me being on the side that they want, to act as they wish, in the perfect similitude of themselves. Think about the impact. Well, on a, on a channel like this, you can ignore me, you can say many things because we do not reflect the image of the posterity and the prosperity of this earth currently. We reflect nature, we reflect God, we reflect the false, but yet the light that is not our own, which is not to give praise to self. That is not inspirational unless you're of the kingdom. So the true vitriol is to take these souls that are bright and show them past life of saying, once you were the great queen of this entire kingdom. Those monuments that you see were etched to your face 3,000 years ago, and here you are again. And now you will rule once again, but now your kingdom will be over this entire globe. And so now in, in these temples now, the fallen direct these so-called kings and queens, just functionaries that have given up their souls unto them to act and they think that they're acting as sovereigns but they're really puppets, that's what we call the puppet masters, they're on the strings and the, 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 the essence of look at the scale of the puppet, tear to the puppet and there's something, it is a subliminal message, something that people don't pick up that look at the scale in which the puppetry happens so it shows you that, again we talk about the, the titans, the Anunnakis, the fallen angels these beings that are here colossus, massive creatures, right? and the theatre of life being that little stage 
and we being on their thumbs like little puppets but the scale shows how huge they are and why the witches and the warlocks play along so much because the witches and the warlocks by blood right extension are the functionaries because some part of these fallen entities are imbued into these warlocks because that's why the blood rights which is which is and warlocks head the corporations they head the organizations they are not just small functionaries and that's why they're oftentimes not seen because we, we I would say we bastardize those that carry the, the markings of witchery like the perverse tattoos and all those stuff that we we'll get into in other videos right when they carry the, the ritual markings we look at them and we say ah witch 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 but the head witch over them, the head warlock has no scratches on her body and she can shift and shape into several creatures but she has no marks on her body that can define her she might be a mark of a beautiful woman he might be the mark of a very astute and powerful articulate man but no signs of darkness or witchery in functionality Lucifer loves to pretend to be a servant of light so in many cases they are in high positions of incommunicals they occupy places of faith and authority in the spiritual world as well as the world we view as spiritual. We see them as the head of councils of churches and organizations that have religious and spiritual rooting and underpinning. Well, they are literally the sons and daughters of the warlocks carrying the orders of the witches into manifestation because those things have to become law. Our policy is not really law because law is natural, which is God, but they become policy, right? Which is policed again by a lot of these people who are actually witches and warlocks who are in these orders and all of them carry the crest again as I say we're talking about the servants of the signet they all have to come under a signet because there's an order on the hierarchy that they have to answer to and that they are represented as and represented by and so all of them would always have a senior organization that would meet along with all other organizations that seems to be non-related but they're all interrelated in the beast and so as we're talking about witches and warlocks we're talking about the people who do television programs I want to be people host radio programs. We're talking about those who are enshrined in positions of principalship. This is called a principal within principal interest, I should say, within colleges, universities, um, grade school, middle school, high school, um, primary school, whatever the social engineering systems within education are. The so-called re-education is, is concerned because natural law and heredity, functionality, what we call law of nature, is transferred to customs, right? We get custodial rights, allodial rights from. So we know that not everyone knows the law of God transposed to actual law understanding of man. Well, that which is given by God is a lodia, that which cannot be separated by any claim beyond that which is right of blood. I mean, right of the aggregate understanding of the autonomous land, meaning we are born of the lands and the cultures thereof are one in the same from time immemorial, all that in celebration of God and nature and creation come under the sovereign right. And all other citizenship rights are separate and apart and different from the rights of free and autonomous sovereign nationals. Right, brother saying everything else is the right, or the loss of right, a denigration, a property, property human, black. All these things are saying that you're no longer a living person, right? You are now a fictitious person, a strong man. So why are these things important? Well, I'm telling you the engineering structure of the witches and the warlocks or they've administrated their kingdom of darkness. That's what I'm not, it's not what I'm saying to you. That's clearly what I'm saying. I'm saying this is how. So stop looking outside into fallacy. I'm telling you how it functions. They reclassify, reorient the understanding, the gnosis, the knowledge of the living person into a fictitious person because Lucifer, their father, is a father of deception. So you go around pretending, believing, assuming you are the all caps letter statement name word image that they give you on your checks on your birth certificate certificate that manifests all these things you think it is you and such you operate by a law that is constructed under sigil magic which is the witches and the warlocks power which gives them authority to order their property around the straw man and a feudal system mercantile admiralty law learn these things because these things are necessary on a christian and Christian codes of shackle and such, but I should say this because a lot want this to be said. A lot of people parade to be followers of Christ or Yeshua are the, the common term Christians and they're not Christians, right? They are Nicio Neapolitano Creed members. They are Constantinians who are parading as Christians as followers of Yeshua Mashiach or Jesus Christ as it's called through the terminology. It's not Zeus or followers of Zeus, right? They learn this very carefully. It's not Sejabu, Jia, right? So learn this 
carefully and clearly. This is not a European edict to subjugate the Aboriginals to religion and religious manipulation. Everything we speak is our Tatinos rights. Many do not have the allodial understanding that which is our Tatinos, natural of the aggregate land, terra firma, creation, right? Here we are, cast out, but we are not without favor. And there's laws that govern us, and there's laws of nature, there's the laws of our creator, right? And when our natures change, because that's what they do, they change our natures to become what? Violent, visceral, destructive, hate-filled. And so this change in nature is maintained under the straw man because you carry false identifications, right? So you are, are operating what we call a numb de gear, which is on the false or assumed identities, thinking that you are this, thinking you're Jamaican, thinking that you're all these constructive things which are subhuman, which are monsters. That's what it means, you know, you're uncontrollable, non discernible because you are not made by God, you're a hybrid, you are a plasmode, as I say on my channel, maybe I look to intense on this channel. You know, you, you are, you're artificial intelligence, you're unnatural, God's sake, you're not even real. Right? Anyway, so I'm saying that the warlocks and the witches administer a system that controls a false reality called the fictitious person or the straw man, which is the illusion that most people believe that they are before they have come to truth and awakening through Christ. And when you come to the awareness, the paper trail is important. So they love to talk about going on the rabbit hole. I never said go down the rabbit hole. I say follow the paper trail because with the paper trail, the signet will be discovered. It will be, hallelujah, uncovered. And you'll find the accountants of hell parading right in front of you as servants of heaven. And you'll see and clearly be able to discern their witchery and their sorcery. And why is it important? Because, because you don't know. You perish because of lack of knowledge. You do not know. So you watch their movies and they're telling you how they are taking all your money from you and taking your soul and killing your children and turning them into transgender and transhumans, right? And they told you how they're going to do it, how they're going to take away their humanity and make them into machines and cyborgs and androids and take away their discernibility to make them into soulless beings because their soul is absorbed into someone else, into something else. Hmm. Strange, but listen, you foresee this one. Yes, brother, I'm here to all look at. Remind them that there are spells cast over many things in reality, in earth, in your community. You know, certain places is where the witches, yeah, the witches have certain spots. Could be a tree. It could be a cave, it could be the root of a tree, the bark of the tree, sometimes a tree of a hole, mm -hmm. you know, um, rivers, springs, ponds, sea, mm -hmm. many spells cast by the seaside. Volcanoes too, let us not forget that's one of our video too, but Spirit of the fires they dwell near the volcanoes and the hot springs and hot baths. Yeah, man. Because certain places, hot spot for spells. Business places, because some people go to the, the, the obia man, mm -hmm. the witch doctor, the voodoo man, you know. The warlock, the witch. Well, many, many terms worldwide. Mm -hmm. Magician. The true magician is. Yeah, term man. That's many, a term they use. Yeah. Many people go to these people and get them charms. They put it over them business place, put it over them body, protected. Blessings, food. prosperity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, even the food. Cause them the, uh, the witch with the witch we say, alright, sprinkle a little of this in the food every morning. If you check it out, could be powdered human bones. Most times it is mixed with other things. Yeah, mixed with some vile, nasty stuff, you know, dead creatures. And you know, many Poisonous things. 
But a sprinkle a little, man. And even your body stuff, because then we say, all right, make sure you put some of your urine mm -hmm. into the food every morning. Mm -hmm. Some of your feces in the cake. Mm -hmm. Hold it on nasty, vile stuff, you know. True, man. True. And when you do that, people just keep coming back. Because what? Uh, because these are things that we learn, you know. Spell, yeah, it yes. attach you yeah. and them yeah. together. Yes. So you just join to them as a female's time on. Mm -hmm. Them put you can them can use urine. Mm -hmm. Them can use them their menstrual blood. Mm -hmm. Them can use them feces. Mm -hmm. Them can use them spit. Mm -hmm. Them sweat. Mm -hmm. Them hair. Mm -hmm. Them nails. Body parts. Mm -hmm. The more organic excretion. Blood. Yes. Blood. Blood. Mm -hmm. What well, that are the wicked one them? Because mm -hmm. once you start the blood things, a possession will come, you know. Mm -hmm. The higher level of the witches, that's why they lose their physical form yeah, after a while. Because that's the blood rise. The blood rise after a while transform them into what we call the monsters. Yeah? Uh, the banshee spirits, the, the worldly ones that are yeah. the whole hikes that slide out of their skin. Mm -hmm. The ones that we usually have to salt their skin so they can't get back in. Yeah, so, cause the demons are bring them at night time to them kingdom, you know. And they might eat the demon flesh and all the vile stuff in the kingdom of darkness and the marine kingdom. Mm -hmm. Cause the marine king don't get it, the marine kingdom, you know. Mm -hmm. The place highly advanced. The technology. 10 times, 20 times above what we have right now. And that is not surprising. Disembodied spirits need something to Anything them need, them press a button. Mm -hmm. Or voice control or just thought mm -hmm. to activate stuff. Ah, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. The marine, remember, at the Marine Kingdom, all of this technology come from you. Yeah. Voice activated, motion activated. Even the cloning technology and all of that. Exactly. A marine kingdom, it come from vehicles, Benz and Ferrari and them things there. The whole of that come from the marine kingdom. You know, certain hair products, mm -hmm. makeup. Body care, skin care. They you know certain products of human fetus in it. Mm -hmm. You know? So all of these things are come from the kingdom of darkness. What the witch them... I put spells over, you know, yeah, you use the product, mm -hmm. spells, chaos over, you, you have the product and in your house. And that's the doorway. Yeah. Being created because you have Got two tools which are fly over your house at night time, boom, boom, especially naked. Especially if you love the product. Because <laughs> the love again attaches a higher, you know, Yes, I. me and my princess would say, it attaches a higher level of sensitivity. Because she, she recently decoded passion and I was like, I was so proud of her for doing it. Because she's like, yeah, when people really are into something, Passion is a word, but she starts to understand energy. She said, when someone is passionate about something, so much they love it. That's why it's there. So much energy is invested. So True. when you passionately express, oh, my favorite product, this one, mm. I just got this store. Oh my girl, I'm just gonna try this. The shoes. Oh my God. Have to get the oh shoes on the handbag. Yo, my you. <laughs> Dude, see that thing here? You watch. Trust me. The G shop, me. The G wagon, me. Yeah, man. Me El Diablo, me. You know, my Veyron, my Pagani. And, and it's like, if somebody was to touch it, it's like, they would, it's like you, you want them to kill you. It's like, they'll lose their minds. Mm -hmm. So, it's how much the doors have been open. And think about it too. A lot of them who want to go faster and faster, operate like a superhero. Again, it's the augmentation. It's the same spiritual debauchery. It's like, the warlocks go faster. Humans who tend to believe themselves and it's transition into warlock, they want to go faster rate of speed. Because you know the G-force that occurs when a human begins to go fast, it changes around how the elements and what we call our senses, how all things operate. That's why I'm going to do the simple. <laughs> As if you're going really faster rate of speed in a circle, it induces what we call vertigo, right? Mm -hmm. And vertigo is a, what we call a disorientation. You feel like you want to vomit and everything just spinning around and you can't be it still. You know, the more powerful people become, the more they do things like that. So there's a word called daredevil, meaning 
death and the edge of the threshold gives them a rush and a high energy. So the fast little vehicles are those that carry the name, and I've already decoded this, that they carry the name of demons. The cars are called Diablo, they are called the names of the actual devils and demons. And they even have commercials where the cars, I sent you one, right, where they have a car falling from heaven, right? Just like Lucifer, behold, Lucifer falling like lightning from the heaven. So they, they, they even in symbol show you the old structure of how it is now. You open a portal and a gateway when you say, most vehemently, passionately, I love this new outfit, I love this car, I love this vacation package, because they, they, they structure these world tours as well too, because they're taking you into the atmosphere. That's another thing my friend used to talk about, and I guess the first time I'm entering it here, but you need to understand that darkness work in many ways. This is a new way that you might not know about. It's called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is to do vacation, to take you on special cultural tours and spiritual tours. Here we're going to visit a special place where 1400 years ago there was the appearance of the apparitions of so and so and so and so and so the atmosphere begins to be charged with a certain kind of energy and there are people who travel around the world specifically for these dark, sinister, macabre, atmospheric situation where there were great suicide created mass suicide, mass murders, mass huntings, mass killings. They promote these things as attractions under specific ruins. These are atmospheric tourism where people become invoked into the rituals. And you know that mm -hmm. you have a special set that visit these places and the equinoxes, right? Different from these groups that they're mm -hmm. targeting. And they go and they, they say, this rite has been performed as a sacred blood rite, ritual rite, a rite for 3,000 years and I so and so is the older of the sword of the power of the this of the that of the blah 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 blah, blah. and they, they name seven different demons seven different orders and seven different statutes of the which they have structured the whole society and the laws don't stop continue and so now when they stand on that part they say I have activated the sigil now when you look in both pathways going from them are triangles you're not going to take it from me triangles pentagon pentagons and all these sigils that run parallel in walkways in streets lots of stuff in streets and walkways and when you're at the spot and you're centered right give me a little while when you're in the spot and you're centered right you are in the spot where the energy where the stars and the sun align and these are the spots where the rituals are being created and if you're smart enough you can see that the pathways lead to the conference hall to the government hall to the business of that to some kind of church where there are gorgas and demons and that's how it is laid out in all these avenues and they're all parallel diagonal octagonal lines right and so these are where they go and they do the rituals so they might tell oh this is a coalition and universal peace and harmony and they do these things and they set out their the people along the line of the the pentagram and they set out the people along the line of the axis and the compass and the compass and the rule and they set out the people along the line of the signet that is how the, ch the, the chairs are laid out hallelujah that is how the ritual hall is laid out in these award ceremonies right and look at how where the center spot where the warlock stand and, and the chief witch stands look at where they stand and look at how energy is being siphoned off in directions both in projections from them to influence the space electromagnetically and also to draw energy from the people who are usually placed in sigil magic. It is already written out in the layout of the entire city. The entire city starts its point of origin on a cardinal point, which is the point of an altar. And these altars are manned every cycle by warlocks and witches who care for the blood right. That's why they got to hunt in these forests and shed human blood or animal blood within these forests. Brother Sam. Yes, Brother Great All. And these witches and warlocks, these spellcasters, they have spiritually charged items like even a mirror or a crystal ball. They can spy and people all the time spy through your mirror through for the mirror you know spy in you know, the crystal ball check out your life and I try do things and I, you know make you fumble and try to cause car, car accident and you know holy for a little foolishness because what they want get you off track because they just watch and wait for a gate to open to you know, a gateway. And they say, ah, they can cast them spell now. Because mm -hmm. before, when they try to cast it, the mirror just a broke. Mm -hmm. Them crystal ball a broke. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they do, a broke up. 
and a stop and a backfire. Access denied. Yeah, because you pray over your life, you put the blood of Jesus over you, and you over your house, in a spiritual realm, you're a being of fire. When the blood of Christ is upon you, you're just a fire being in a spiritual realm. When you pray over your house and put the blood over your house, or any item mm -hmm. that you have, come remember I pray over your phone too, mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus cover your phone. Because they must spy through that too, because it's a mirror. Yeah. And camera and everything, they put it the same way. Front face you. camera, yeah. back face, yeah. 10 camera on the back. <laughs> you know? So these witches, them spy on you and put spells on you and wait for you to open doors and send demons after you to attack you. Hmm. Can I remember one time, you know? We get this dream, real as day. Two witch come on my house. Two young girls look beautiful, you know, like 20 year old, 21, 22. Beautiful. Two young dark skinned girls. Naked. <laughs> in a bathtub. A beard. And I invite me come. Come. I look for them good in them eyes. You know. I realized that these people are real people. Ooh, mm -hmm. You can see the consciousness in the eye. Mm -hmm. A living soul. Like me, I said, okay. Like them astral project and come. Mm -hmm. And I try to get me to do some activity, but me not depend on that. <laughs> so me just burn them out. And it just them just gone. Mm -hmm. You see me? Access denied. Yeah. I said me not depend on that. <laughs> you see me? So these witches, them are in the night time, day time, all time. Then we come into your house. Mm -hmm. Them can transform into a little cat, rat, cockroach, mm -hmm. a little centipede. Come into your house, a spy upon you, you asleep. But what is little rat there at the window, watch you. Hmm. A weird pony. I used to be mean in my house, I used to be in. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. So these witches, them, as we said, them can shape shift. Mm -hmm. Certain witches, not all. It's, again, it's hierarchy. So when, yeah, man. When, when they uh, fully abandon the humanity, then. Yeah, because they can do that. the more evil acts them do, or the more them rank up. Because the demon send them on a mission, you know. And say, all right, you see that man over there? I want you to get him to trip. You know? Once you start looking at that girl, I you know, she has powers in her eye. Mm -hmm. That witch. Cause I, them, them charge it. Yeah, that's the call hypnotic. Yeah, man, because you know them, you know, seductive look. A lowering hypnotic. And I say, wow, this beautiful girl is interested in me. You know, probably I'll have money. Mm -hmm. They know a Range Rover. You know? And I give you the look. Mm -hmm. And you look back and she start call to you. And you go over to her. You know, put a one night stand. Mm -hmm. And what? You could have catch a couple of virus from her. Mm -hmm. Because they are nasty people mm -hmm. anyway. You see me? Mm -hmm. And then she left some spell under your bed. Mm -hmm. you know, she left sitting under your bed and not even know. She slips something in your pillow. Mm -hmm. Cut your pillow, you know? mm -hmm. sleep it in, man. Him no have a clue. Every night he must sleep on that. Mm -hmm. But what? Him head, him start get cray cray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you see me? Some people watching. say, after this girl, because you have someone say, oh, this girl sought me up someone. Because mm -hmm. maybe good enough. But the one time, mm -hmm. I go deal with this girl, I salt after that. Because they are witch. Some of them are witch. Knowings and yes. some of them unknowings. That's what I want to make it clear, but they, there's an order. So, there's so some are initiates and some are just doing it because of the blood, right? Just like what we were saying, the righteous one is warding off evil. Just naturally, you don't necessarily have to be under a church. We're not saying you're not under a church or that people are not under a spiritual authority. But remember, the head of the orders are those who are Uriel, Gabriel, and those who the Most High have appointed as the head of our orders of righteousness, right? But many 
students of light, servants of light, are actively fulfilling that before they are conscious of what they are doing. And likewise, witches and warlocks, I want to make it clear that the warlocks are the higher hierarchy, hallelujah, over the witches, right? That means that the, the, the witches answer to the warlocks, right? They are men and women who are gifted naturally because of their blood right into darkness and hence they are called to it and they are doing the rituals just by being natural. She's painting her face in these weird sigils and symbols and um, when she does it, to those who are ignorant, it actually allures them and to those who are awakened, it repulses them. So sometimes you don't even know why you don't like that person but three days ago she put a henna marking on her face that she washed off physically but in the spirit it is still there and it was a sigil, it's a magic spell, it's a ritual and that ritual is to get men to be allured by her mm -hmm. and she's doing this not because she's a part of a coven as yet she's doing this because her mentality, her, her emotions, the spirit within her womb Africa, that womb has produced darkness, it is a womb of darkness it moves her to do these things because the women are moved by the womb of their consciousness that's why a lot of women's spirituality is not spoken about that is why a lot of what makes the witches the witches talima is they use a lot of sex magic and rituals right so then you look at when the witches do their rituals they put the women in um warlock like sexual submissive and perversive permissive permission positions on the cover of magazines and on products right and so part of the, when you were talking about one of the the things that they would use to do the rituals is that the Lord wanted me to say, but here in your flood in one, to, is that their sexual excretion is one of the major things, hallelujah, they use on the telema. You mentioned everything but that, their ex sexual excretion, mm -hmm. right? That is one of the major things that is used in creams, skin care, and ointments, and oh. things that relates to other women as well as to be consumed by the men. Right into jellies and all these little potions and these little shots that they do. And so Telema is a part of the sex magic rituals that are not spoken about. But the witches and the warlocks and this, but the witches' bodies, right, mm. are the layout of the temple, which is the, the legs up and wide open, the vagina being the, the doors to the temple. And so as we're talking about layout, we must look and find these specific architectural designs because they point to that being a temple of Telema. And sometimes people see it and they're like, no. Nah. And I remember even at UTEC when I was there, there was a statue of a naked woman with her, 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 her voluptuous open to the heavens in a certain position that was definitely uh, altar to Asherah, mm -hmm. right? So these things like these that are masked in art. So a lot of the, the witches are, and warlocks are artists as well. And I'm talking visual artists as well as these so-called um, performance artists that are conceptual artists as well too uh, who use human skin and human blood in artwork these are satanic savagery that are again part of the order because what they do is they're trying to destroy the sanctity of the sacredness of the human life that's exactly what they're doing and so what they do is that they teach a dishonor for the sanctity so many people don't know like I hear women say I'm not trying to hit you for this they say oh I know sex is sacred and this and that and I wouldn't just do it because of that. And I'm saying sex isn't sacred because sex is sacred. Sex is sacred because the being, hallelujah, is sacred. If the being is not sacred, sex cannot be sacred. So you cannot be there talking about, oh, sex is sacred just because you think that you are, you are special, 12 out of 10, you're unique or you're God's gift to men or God's gift to penis or the vagina, right? Sex is sacred because the being that is having sex is sacred and it's another one of the tricks that they which is in the wild acts too because a telema ritual they have made sex sacred separate and apart from the sacred nature of your being that means that that is perverse sexuality and this is what is then represented on the images of the products and the services that they sell and this is a spell that draws men in and you don't have to watch a porn channel. It is the reason why you're having that candy. With a lot of subliminal. It's the reason why the kids through pedophilia is wearing these pink and blue things. Girls blue, boys pink. When traditionally, right, women represented delicate and colors are vibratory yeah, and signify, signify frequency of functionality. Softness, influence, yeah, hormonal, 
pink, <laughs> orange, those sort of things, right? Aggression, understanding, clarity, perception, blue. Wisdom is masculine, blue. These things, male, they represented functionality. A hot sunny day, a clear sky, yeah? More physical energy than an overcast sky, more internal energy. Feeling, so pink evokes feeling. Blue evokes action on a clear bright sky there you want to go walking you want to go stretch because the heat within the body is expressing function masculine energy that's why sun males authority female moon water emotions it represents feeling that the feelings carry the charge right versus up here the thoughts in activity for males care these things are very important to understand why it is these spells can operate because they and the Asherite, which is the head of the witches, right? She turned males into females, and females into males. It's to take away your natural, elemental, vibratory power, right? And they do this through advertising and enticing. So the same word we call advertising, it means enticing. Right? It means to entice, which is to beguile. And it's a spell, it means a charm. So it is a being worked by a witch. And this is part of the understanding I have because I, through my understanding, know the power of words and how they affect the below the threshold of the human consciousness. So words carry a vibratory meaning that even if your mind don't get it, the vibration of what the word carry already enter into the subtext that you're being already affect your emotions without you knowing. You spend ten minutes in front of a, a sigil magic screen watching a half naked woman and yet a uh, fully naked woman. Well, let's use half naked because it's advertising. Her breasts are covered at the nipples here, yeah? but she's um, promoting jewelry or something of the falling, right? And you spend five minutes there and for the next three days you can't get the image of sex out of your mind or the image of a certain type of woman out of your mind or the idea that you gotta do something to have a, a type of woman like that what you gotta do to change yourself to alter your natural outlook because a guy like you doesn't get a girl like that you understand put an next way yeah a girl like you don't get a man like that right so your natural organic hips and face and appearance no, that, that makeup ad, that advertisement is saying to you, you gotta straighten your hair, you know, straighten your nose through surgery, do your BBL, and die and leave your three kids. And that's a recent happening, right? But it's stuff like these which really affect and mess up and manipulate <laughs> the emotions. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because it's crazy how I guess people are caught in the spell. That's why we have to do these videos too give information to break curses and reveal truth. Because I think what we definitely see in this one. <laughs> yeah, but I'm great all. Because we have to remember to pray for our community. Because you have witches that fly around at night time doing many harm to Christians and non-Christians alike. It's a go around and do harm because the more harm them do, you know, the more power them get. You have many of them with many power, you know. Can do many things. True. And them get promise that them are, we have a better space with Lucifer, you know? The Father. Because them see Lucifer as God, you know. That's who see they have in them, ain't it? Yeah, man. So we have to remember to pray the blood of Jesus over your life, your house, your vehicles, your children, your spouse, your whole family, cover them because evil I look for them and I wait upon them for just slip up. Hmm. It's sad to say but you gotta be aware of the witches on the warlock, the orders that supersede the physical manifestations Right, the fallen angels, the Nephilim, and all those who have died and you know their spirit is still being used by the living witches and warlocks, those who have become disembodied. It's an order. And sometimes when you see a young son or daughter acting a certain way, they are silently being initiated, right? And as Brother Singh said, sometimes by the rip of them are getting initiated, they're going there, being led there, and they say they're thinking about their destiny, and every time they're thinking about their destiny, it's so the river they're going. And they're getting these interesting 
inspirations while they're sitting there. It's like, it don't happen anywhere else. I wonder why. Life is so vast and earth is so vast. Why is it only when you go to the river at that time when you feel like to go, you're getting an inspiration or you're getting these great works of art or these calculations how to make money and all these. Yeah, so these things are them basically slowly calling to your children. And the, again, we already told you about the cartoons, the movies, the things. That, so those things are also calling cards. But remember, say, you know, there are places in the community, as we are explaining that, they have the magic up over the door, over the space, and there might be playgrounds, there might be this. So you have to be discerning and be able to, you know, you know let the power of the Most High show you to move the wool over your eyes and to avoid the pitfalls of the kingdom of darkness manifesting through witches, warlock, imps, fairies, and all manner of fallen. So until next time, this has been Talu the Great Hall. These things right here at the Trail Life. In the presence of my indomitable co-host brother, Roman C. Remind you to like, share, subscribe to Trail Life Experience right here in Sila Media. Support the merchandise, teespring.com. Go on you know, PayPal if you want to make a donation. Or on um, the, uh, uh, the Patreon, sorry. <laughs> here. Um, the Patreon if you also want to make a donation to the cause. And um, basically, just keep the experience going. Wizio.com is there mini any therapy session with you slowly. Also, we have um, the retreats that we gather, our friends, our family, or anyone who really wants to come and share the farm there, tour there with us here in Jamaica, go on a healing hike, you know, or access online therapy. We, I do it through WhatsApp, um, uh, as well as, um, you know, some personal coaching sessions to study the deeper spiritual stuff. Yeah, this thing's love. <laughs> Perfect love. <laughs> Ah, this is the great old Talapu, and I bet you're wondering what am I repping? But I'm repping the new Trail Life merch right here in Salem Media. So click the link below to get your version of blazers, t shirts, visors, caps, and rock the Trail Life wear. Trail Life Ministries, Salem Media.